Welcome to Ashley Marie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the third episode of Halloween Baking Championship. Today I'm going to be making for you guys my pumpkin blondie graveyard, complete with walnut bugs and marshmallow spider webs. Let's get started. Lay out your nuts in kind of a nice flat row along your baking pan. And I want mine to be a little bit salty, so I'm gonna just kind of salt them a little bit before I toast them. All right, so I have my oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna put them in there for about eight to 10 minutes. Our nuts are toasted, they look amazing. You can see that great golden color to them. And it totally makes a difference. The judges are right. It's worth toasting your nuts for. So now what we're gonna do is pull out the whole walnuts and these are gonna be those beetles that are gonna go on top of our graveyard blondie. We have some melted butter and some brown sugar. We're gonna mix that together real quick. We're gonna add our eggs. And our pumpkin. This is after all the pumpkin challenge. And some vanilla. Now we're gonna take our flour our spices, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and then our rising elements, baking soda and baking powder. Walnuts, chocolate chip. It's time to pour our blondie batter into the pan. Mm, you guys, this smells great. The pumpkin, the spice. I'm excited to dig in. Oats. Flour, brown sugar, cinnamon. Let's get some of uh, this ginger snap. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this <laughs> and making a huge mess. It's just hard to get, there we go, into here. All right. This is one of those really messy things and it's only gonna get worse. So, so just get your hands in there and kind of mix everything together. Obviously, make sure you've washed your hands. That's kind of an important step, but you should be doing that even if you're not putting your hands in your food, if you're cooking. All right, so we have our nice strudel base ready. Mmm, it smells great. Now time to add the thing that brings it all together, the butter. Blech. All right, and spread that around, breaking it up. We're gonna put it in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes, and we wanna stir it every couple of minutes just uh, to keep it from like turning into a cookie. We want it to be a crumble. It's time to make our bugs for our creepy crawly graveyard. So I'm taking some whole toasted walnuts, dipping them in some dark chocolate, and then pulling it out, shaking off as much as I can because we kinda wanna get a little bit about buggy shape. And then we're gonna just drop it into these chocolate sprinkles and pull it up. And those sprinkles are making our creepy crawly bug legs. And then just repeat. Our blondie is done. It looks great. It's not overcooked this time. And uh, we're ready to start piling stuff on. So here is my broken up um, <laughs> strudel. All right, I'm gonna spread this around. If any pieces are too big, you just wanna break it up. If this is still warm, obviously you don't wanna do this, but I've, I've let this cool. All right, and now we're gonna add our, uh, about half of our chocolate spiders, or buggy spiders or whatever they are. All right, now we're gonna take some marshmallows and melt them. We let our marshmallows heat until they were growing nice and big in the microwave. And now we're gonna just kind of stir them. And they're gonna get all stringy, which is what we want. They're really hot. So try to just work a couple strands at a time. If it gets too cold, it'll just start breaking. 
So you gotta work quickly. If you have gloves you can wear so this isn't too hot, I suggest doing that because this is really hot. Once you're happy with your spider webs, then take some more of your chocolate covered walnut bugs and place some over the top as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me recreate my graveyard and I hope you give the pumpkin blonde a try, whether or not you add all the gory details. Don't forget to tune in next Monday night for the finale of Halloween Baking Championship. Ah! I can't believe I made it all the way to the last episode. It's insane. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah. This is really moist because I didn't overcook it. And I actually really like the pumpkin and all the spices and the flavors with this. It tastes really great. Now don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything, including all the recreations from the show and all of my normal recipes and cake decorations. Thanks for watching.